Hi everybody, welcome to art class. I'm Mary Jo and today we are going to be working on some rock painting. So if you've always wondered what supplies should I use and what are the best surfaces for painting and what brushes should I use, then this is the right place for you. Today we'll be working on some rock painting. <laughs> So you're wondering what you might need to paint some rocks, maybe in the place where you live, there's a rock um, painting trend similar to where I live. So some of the things you need, you need some rocks. So a nice smooth surface is good, but listen, any rock will do. I happen to find these on a hike, which are, they're very flat. And then I have a lot of rocks in my yard in the landscaping. In fact, I removed 100 of them and you couldn't even tell I took any. And then, you know, stuff like this is nice to paint on. Wash off the rocks first so that they're nice and clean. And of course you need water with your paint. And then um, acrylic paints. So any paints like this are good. I really like, um, I really personally love metallics. Make sure you get yourself at least your primary colors and then any um, white and black. But um, if you, you know, feel like getting a variety of colors, anything will work. And then um, the other thing that's really fun and a lot of people like to use are paint pens. So these are paint markers. They come in all different colors. They're the kind when you shake them, they click because you're mixing them up. Again, come in metallics. And you also need brushes. I have a variety of brushes here from small, medium, large. Really, I only use large brushes when I'm putting up and you know, coating an entire paint uh, rock in color. I also suggest um, spray paint, and you could spray paint the rocks in advance, which I have done before, and then um, also something to seal them with. If they aren't going outside, then Mod Podge has recently come out with a spray sealer, but then also you could brush on your Mod Podge. You can do this, but then if they're going outside, I will show you a Krylon sealer that I really like. I often will use a paper plate as my palette, and then I keep a plastic bag, and I put the palette inside the plastic bag for when I'm not quite finished with something or I make a color that I really like. This that one has been sitting around for a while, so I can just put paint on top of this, but it's kind of a handy tip. And so the first thing that I suggest is, and the way that I get started with my rocks, is I use a cheapy white acrylic paint to cover the surface of them. You do not have to do this. Some people paint directly on the surface, but I like to give them a nice even coating, kind of like uh, priming a canvas. a little less rock like I could kind of see what I want to paint on them so that's one of the other reasons that I could give them an even coat and I as I was painting this I was like this looks exactly like two years of a cat and then I could do the cat's head and part of its neck so this one I'll turn into a cat I'm not sure about the rest of these but this looks vaguely like the state of Pennsylvania so who knows maybe we'll do something like that and then these um not sure yet you know we'll have to come up with something maybe something for the holidays but that's the next step is to figure out now that you have this rock what is your idea do you want to do something that's seasonal or do you want to do kind of a um like a um inspiring statement or make a statement with what your rock is and are you giving it as a gift into the world and for somebody to find or is it for your own enjoyment. So that's your next step. Start to think about what you'd like to paint and we will get started soon. Mm -hmm. 